in a big win for National Investigation Agency or NIA in short. Two suspects of the Dameshwaram cafe blast were nabbed from Kolkata on April 12th. Musawar Hussein Shazib and Abdul Mateen Taha were allegedly involved in Rameshwaram cafe blast. Musafir Hussein Shazib is accused of plan planting the IED inside Rameshwaram cafe and Abdul Mateen Taha is said to be the mastermind of the attack. The NIA had declared rewards of rupees 10 lakh on each of the absconders. NIA, NIA central agencies and police force of several states worked together to nab the accused. The cafe in Bangalore's Whitefield area was jolted by a low intensity blast on March 1st. The case was handed over to the NIA on March 3rd, following the NIA team's visit to the blast site. The two men who allegedly plotted and executed the blast were arrested from Kandi in Bengal's East Midnapur district. Musawir Hussein Shazib and Abdul Mateen Taha were caught after a joint operation by Central Intelligence Agencies and police from Bengal, Karnataka, Telangana and Kerala, the anti-terror uh, agency said in a statement. The available evidence indicates Shazib planted the explosive device placed inside a backpack at the popular eatery. Taha was responsible for plotting the attack and for their disappearance. These are the second and third arrests in this case. Last month, Musamil Sharif, who extended logistical support to the Shaseb and Taha, was taken into custody. Residents of Karnataka's Shivamoga district, Shaseb and Taha were traced to Kanti after officials conducted searches at 18 locations across Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and even Uttar Pradesh. The blast of Bengaluru's Rameshwaram Cafe on March 1st injured 10 people, customers and staff. Fortunately, there were no deaths. The bag containing the explosives was placed in a relatively less crowded area and against a large pillar that absorbed the brunt of the explosion. After the blast, the NIA released photos and videos of the accused as seen on CCTV cameras across Bengaluru. In one such clip, the accused wearing a face mask was seen boarding a bus. That was about an hour after the blast. The agency further questioned the acquaintances of the accused, including college and school friends. The Rameshwaram Cafe, which suffered extensive damage after the blast, reopened eight days later with enhanced security measures, including metal detectors. Earlier, the Bengaluru police had registered a case under the stringent Unlawful Activities Prevention Act and Explosive Substances Act in connection with the explosion at the cafe. Meanwhile, the Karnataka BJP has come down heavily on the Siddharamaya-led state government after the NIA arrested the two accused. The BJP in a post on X termed the accused as brothers of Congress, saying that ever since the admirers of jihadi Tipu Sultan came to power in Karnataka, terrorists have been given a free ride. Siddharamaya's ease of doing terror policies have prompted ISIS to now set up its shop in Karnataka. The only guarantee that Siddharamaya has fulfilled is converting prosperous Karnataka into a terror hub. Now, it is for the people of Karnataka to decide whether the new Karnataka government led by the Congress has made Bengaluru less safe and given terrorists ease of doing their business in the state.